up guys antonio here we're back with another one so today we're talking about budget lighting and basically when you go on like a youtube video or you see like a filmmaker a videographer or somebody doing videos on lighting you tend to see them like they say it's budget but then they end up pulling out a light that they bought from aperture for like 200 250 300 or something like that and then you're like um i thought we were lighting on our budget um the fact is so many times we don't have the money to just go spend on a huge light um and we have to use what we have and um a lot of times lighting sets we fail because the lighting is just bad so we're like stressed about what to do so i'm here today to actually do lighting on our budget lighting on our budget you have to focus on really and truly the three main factors of lighting um the basics your key light your backlight your fill once you have those three down then you can implement anything else then it could also it could be you play with the RGB lights, you play with um, how close you want the lights on the face, how harsh, anything is possible. But once you nail those three down, then you can do everything else to get the concept and feel you want in your video. So talking about lighting on our budget, <laughs> my lighting setup, um, I don't have a second camera because I'd love to show you all, but I'll film it so you'll kind of see what I work with and then you can see what lighting on our budget is so if you've seen some of my previous videos um, there is like a huge window on this side of me right here that brings in a lot of like daylight sunlight even if it's gray outside regardless of what it is I use it as a source of light because it's there and I have like what else am I gonna do I'm not gonna like black it out so because I don't have expensive lights, I use this as a source of light, but it's not my main source of light. So it's coming in through some white curtains, which diffuses it, makes it a bit soft. Then usually before there's an Ikea lamp I have that is usually on this side, but today for some reason I tried it out here and it's re like the light I'm getting now I feel like it's much better than my previous video something I'm gonna leave it on here so that usually is my my key light before and I own two aperture m9s those are like the two expensive lights in my kit and if you know those lights they're like these mini LED lights um, I usually use one as a filler in front and one as a backlight somewhere on the ledge behind me of the couch so if you see in my videos you you kind of see the light in it sometimes but this time i put the two directly on like two chairs in front of me um and now i have another ikea lamp on this side behind like bleeding into the wall and giving like some sort of backlight i don't know if you can see it properly but like it's just you know given like this little flare of light on the wall and then the wall is all white so everything is just bouncing around and usually like that is now how i think i'm gonna set up all my lights from now on and before there's a ceiling light which usually i'll take off because before it, i didn't think it worked but now leaving it on um is brilliant and then lastly <laughs> my mac um i go on youtube and i pull up white screen and i just run a big white light um like one of those 24 hour videos with like a white light and that kind of just brightens up my face a little bit so yeah um you don't necessarily need to go buy a bunch of lights like it's it's not necessary it's not needed yes to become better and yes to do bigger jobs you will i'm not saying this is the fix for life me personally i would love to get some brand new lights set up much better lighting but for now this is what i have and this is what i use um and if i find myself in a scenario where i don't have 
this nice lighting. I'm gonna figure it out. So this is just to say that if you're on a budget and you need lights, um, you don't have to spend too much, like two IKEA lights, and it doesn't have to be Aperture M9s like I have. It can easily just be a uh, LED white bulb. Um, you get one or two of those, you snap it on your seat, then you snap it on another lamp or something, and you just play with it a bit until you get that feel. So, I mean, you see it here, you see how it looks. Um, I'm gonna show you how it looks. I hope you all enjoyed this one and see you all in the next one.